know, m my marriage was a success. Yeah. I look at it as like a curriculum when you're in college or high school, right? You're learning, you're growing, you're evolving, you're creating. And I was able to create with Corey some beautiful, amazing children. Mm -hmm. yeah. And at the end of that curriculum and at the end, there's a graduation. Well, Tia Maori came out and said that her marriage was a graduation. She was able to come together with Corey and create some beautiful children. And marriage was like a curriculum. And at the end of the test, it's a graduation. And she graduated into what? Crying online every other day, being lonely, being estranged from your sister. Uh, just a whole bunch of foolishness, saying all kinds of disrespectful innuendos about your husband. It's... <laughs> Going online talking about the dates you've been going on and saying that you've been held back for years and now you're thinking for yourself and you're free and I'm doing me and just so many different things. But then the tables turn and now Corey's in the spotlight. A lot of these women that had your back, a lot of these women that was destroying Corey in the public now are saying, oh, the man looks good and Tia, we're tired of hearing you whine and maybe we were wrong and now they're on Corey's side. The same so-called sisterhood that's supposed to have your back or the same woman that'll sleep with your man, that, that'll sleep with your ex-husband now. Well, I don't y'all marriage ain't even uh divorce ain't even finalized yet. Like it's just this whole thing is insane. But since she's been online running her mouth so much, she's come under the crosshairs of Tasha K. Tasha K has now uh spoken on this and she's called Tia out for a lot of her uh Phoniness. This is what she said. Check this out. Tia, that, Tia the one divorced Corey, right? Okay. Now, we've inadvertently spoken to both parties somewhat, okay? Now, Tia has been throwing shots back at my videos when I was saying she had no reason to leave. Now, I get it. She's a grown woman. She could do what she want to do. She's been married for a long time. Y'all claim that he was an asshole. You know what I'm saying? She should have been left him. But... A lot of people, just like you see these girls out here getting these BBLs and they do it for clout, and then when they undo the BBLs, they do it for clout. You know what I'm saying? Now everybody wants slim, thick, fit bodies. You know what I'm saying? They doing that for clout. The divorce is the new clout, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And when I tell you, Tia racked in the sympathy. Homegirl wanted her own show. There was a lot of things she was trying to get by monetizing her divorce. Now, I heard, and this is just alleged, okay? Just like when we unveil uh, Papoose's new girlfriend, that's alleged. <laughs> On TashaKLive.com right after this, so y'all make sure y'all had them subscriptions. Um, now, they're saying that the reason Tia left Corey is because she was allegedly, look to your neighbor and say allegedly, allegedly, because we ain't got no money, okay? Allegedly, for the girls. She wanted to play on a girl team. She wanted to play softball. <laughs> I played softball for years, and when I tell you them girls, they, they was just, Funky. It was funky as hell in that damn locker room. That's all I could tell you. I was like, y'all don't believe in shaving or bathing or nothing? Is said, for what? For what? We're not sleeping with men. But, but even if you was another woman, like, who, who want to do all that with all that hair and mud? Golly. Anyway, let me get back on topic real quick. So that's why she ended up divorcing him and basically selling... Her divorce with follows. Now, I've been told you, because she was saying, you know, I'm out here trying to date right after the divorce, because it hadn't been a month. I'm out here trying to date, and it's just really hard out here. And I'm like, well, why did you leave in the first place? If you wanted to take time for yourself, if this was a new era for you, why are you jumping back outside so quickly and your divorce is not even finalized? This man been on social media telling everybody he miss his wife. I want my wife back. He miss his wife. Whole time, wife never even liked him. Wife never even really wanted him. Wifey did what society said was acceptable because she didn't want to be deemed as a Raven Simone, if you get my drift. 
So, Tia was hitting back at me, talking about, I don't want to go back. I don't love him like that. Just because I'm out here dating doesn't mean anything. I should be able to date. Yeah, true. All of that is true. That is true. But why are you putting us in a group chat? Why are you selling your... Why are you selling your divorce? Why are you selling your... Why are you selling your pain like that? All because you wanted a reality show. You knew that you never wanted this man. Now, Tasha K is a legend that the reason she left Corey is because she was she was trying to swing for the other team, if you know what I'm saying. She was trying she was trying to play in the nappy dugout. That's what she was trying to do. She was trying to lick him low, the low the belly button. So she left her husband to go along to go on to the other side. And this is why she was out with her girls and she was doing all the things with the girls. And she was she was going along with the societal norms because this is the appropriate way of doing things. So she went along with that, with the marriage. She went along with the children, but she always yearned to be out on her own with the girls. It's it's just a girl thing, and that's what she you know that's what she wanted to do. And she's still trying. They're saying she's allegedly still trying to hide it and cover it up. But this is what she is. She's part of you know the you know the other side. <laughs> And she was never really in love with Corey. You know, she was in, she was with Corey for the family, the family dynamic or the family situation. But the real, the real uh, Tia uh, really yearns to be with women. But Tasha K wasn't finished. Tasha K doubled down on her and just really went in on her, and she did this. The reason you never came, because I heard that too, and that that's not Corey's fault. When a woman is not coming, that's her fault. I'm a firm believer in that. You have to give people instructions on how to make you calm. You know how to make yourself calm. It ain't nobody's business to be trying to figure out how to make you calm. You tell them, you give them instructions, you coming. If you know how to make yourself calm, you can tell somebody else exactly how to do it. Don't be saying, I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings or nothing like that. I ain't got time. So she eventually found what Hollywood loves, which is the same sex, okay? Mm-hmm. And, may, and have somebody make her come, which is cool, but don't try to make it seem like, because this man got dragged for months. For months. For being an alleged abuser, all types of stuff, all because you wanted clout from the divorce the same way these, getting, these girls is getting clout from DBBLing. Is that a word? DBBLing? DBBLing? But, as I said, when I was right... And she tried to come out here and clock me. Your sister got my back because she called you on your she called you on your shit the same way I did. Why are we in it? If you move it on, move on. Why do you keep talking about this divorce? Why are you on every talk show? This man still ain't did one interview about you. But go ahead and let her sister come up for the Tasha K defense. Come on, y'all. Let's go. Huh? Jasmine. The family dynamic of having a mom and a dad in one household. And when you're dropping your kids off, you actually visually see how that is no longer. We're about to go to daddy's house now. Being alone has been the most challenging part of my divorce. It's times like this when I feel and wish that my sister and I were still close and I could, you know, pick up the phone and call her. But that's... Okay, so I didn't give Jasmine the right clip, but that's okay. I'll explain what's going on here. So sister came out and responded to Tia saying the reason we're not close is because you were obsessed over headlines and media coverage covering your divorce. That's why you're no longer close. So you went from confiding in your sister, bothering her every day, I believe this man, I don't want this man, I don't want this man, to now, this is a whole press run for a divorce. It has completely consumed her. Consumed her. Do you have the other video, Jasmine? Backtrack, yeah, go ahead, play this one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that you knew that saying that would get as uh, much attention as it did. No, Were I... Were you surprised? I was definitely, you know, surprised, but hey... You know, I've been in this industry for such a long time, and I know that some things can be taken out of context. Yeah. So it is. What it, it is what it is. Yeah. yeah. It's a good but, way to look at. Have uh, you had a chance to speak with her? Out of context. You said what you said that you and your sister 
aren't close because of your divorce. She came back and said it's because you're obsessed over media coverage and your divorce. And so you backtracked. It was all publicity for the reality show. It was all publicity so you can go get some cooch. Allegedly. Allegedly. And so now we find it out why you and your sister was estranged because see she said that her and her sister wasn't close but then her sister came out and responded and said we're not close because you keep running your mouth online disrespecting your your husband and affecting my family and affecting everybody else we're twins a lot of things that you do affect my household too so you know so her so her and uh uh tamara fell out you know and we remember seeing videos when tamara was getting married you know, she was making everything about her. Her sister had to cuss her out. We find out that this woman is very selfish, very egotistical. And she never really, you know, they're saying that she never really, like, was in love with Corey. You know, she was in love with what she's in love with. And now it comes out because she spent the whole year, you know, just going on a campaign of who would listen. And saying all kinds of disparaging things, you know, in your windows about her husband. And he never said anything. You know, he kept everything positive. He never downplayed her. He never disrespected her. He kept his mouth shut. You know, when she when she went online and would speak and do everything, and he stayed in the shadows. You know, now he's, you know, he's getting the movie roles. He's back out again. He seems like he's breathing, having fun. You know what I mean? You know, and like I said, a lot of the girls in the sisterhood now, now are looking his way. They're turning their back on Tia. And that's so that sisterhood stuff is fake, man. But I'm going to tell you guys something, man. Marriages is hard. Marriages is not something that it's not something for the weak. It's something that you got to fight for every day, especially in, in a system or a climate that's anti-marriage, especially if you're living out there in Hollywood, Holly weird, and you got all kinds of stuff going on out there. You know, it's something that you got to, man, you got to keep your business in-house, man. You know, she online every single day. Now we find out that she was trying to get a reality show. So she was using, she sold her marriage. And the images of her, of herself and her husband and her children for a freaking reality show. That didn't sit well with her sister. That didn't sit well with Corey. You know, and Corey finally come out, came out now and he's starting to speak on how he feel, you know, how he felt about the situation. But he never, ever do Tia under the bus. Never do Tia under the bus. You know, he just took a lot of stuff on the chin. And that was the smartest thing that he could ever done. Because now the public sentiment is starting to sway his way. But... I'm going to cut this video short here, man. If you made it this far in the video, hit that like button. Subscribe to Street, uh, Street Media TV. Leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think, man. Are y'all tired of Tia, my, Tia and her situation and all the foolishness that she got going on? Let me know, man. Remember, I love y'all. Till the next time. Peace.